Governor, the rules that Governor Evers has issued say nothing about restricting his ability to issue commutations. Uh, a commutation is the shortening of a sentence, and so that's one option on the table still for Brendan Dassey. And as for his rules regarding pardons, those rules say nothing about the case of someone who is actually innocent, like Brendan Dassey. When you have an innocent person sentenced to life behind prison, that's exactly the situation that the clemency power was tailor-made to address. This is a case that federal judges have called a profound miscarriage of justice, and we're calling on Governor Evers to remedy that injustice today. Hi, everybody. Um, I am st in New Mexico. I'm actually right outside of Gallup, New Mexico, which is about four hours away from my house. Um, I kind of wanted to take a break and, uh, I saw the news this morning on Twitter. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys the news on through my phone, but, um, maybe I can one day, but, uh, basically, um, Laura Nyrider posted a tweet. I posted it in my group and, um, I retweeted it, so if you're in those places, you can see it. But um, basically today, uh, probably right about now, hey, Alice, they're going to be signing officially into law the, the bill that keeps police officers from lying to juveniles during interrogation, which is historic. It's awesome. It's That's an amazing thing. And and the way Laura Nyrider put it was is that's the first in uh, – first in American history. So um, congratulations to Illinois for making such a historic and amazing bill and um, to protect its children. I know Oregon is right behind it, um, creating a bill. So I think that's amazing. And I think that um, it's awesome news that needs to be spread around and, pro and shown to people like Governor Evers and and uh, your own governor and legislative people who can pass these sorts of laws because they really are needed for, they're really, we need to protect our children in America. We need to do everything we possibly can to keep what happened to Brendan Dassey from ever happening again. So that's kind of, that. to me, it's just an amazing amazing thing to happen and um, as soon as I get home I'm probably going to do another live where I kind of break down the bill because um, today it's being signed so um, but yeah I just my hair is just amazing right now um, I've been traveling <laughs> still and uh oh great and uh I uh I still got spray paint I <laughs> I look like a mess. <laughs> I, um, it's just like, it's to me, it was an amazing trip. I had a great time with some amazing people. And, um, now that, yeah, the rest of the states need to follow. Exactly, Alice. I had an amazing time and I uh, was some amazing people. And, um, and it's just kind of like the cherry on top of the really awesome cake that happened this week you know not only for illinois and for the youth's future in illinois but it you know this bill was um they stated this bill was created because of brendan dassey and his story and i think that's awesome like some good is coming out of the horrific things that are happening with brendan so thank you nan mm -hmm. um no oh. Every time I do something, someone who messages me. Um, but yeah, no, I, I have uh, spray paint on my hand because um, uh, I stopped in. Um, there's this place called Cadillac Ranch outside of Amarillo, and I wanted to take a picture of it and kind of like see it because I always drive by it. I drive on this highway all the time and I always see it, but I never really thought to stop. And this time I was just like, well, I'll stop. Sorry, that kid looked like somebody I knew. And um, I didn't realize you can, people bring spray paint and they spray paint the, uh, 
the cars, the Cadillac cars. Like I didn't realize you could still do that. You can ride on them. You can spray paint them. And like everyone was just spray painting. It's a, it was a frenzy of spray painting, which was awesome and fun. It really was like a good time. And I actually, somebody brought, you bring your own spray paint and somebody, um, was kind enough to randomly come up to me and be like, here, have a, my can of spray paint. I'm done with it. So I was like, oh, cool. So I actually spray painted on the car a few things. And one and a few of the things I spray painted was one of them was uh, Free Brendan Dassey. And then I spray painted Justice for Teresa. And then um, I wrote in marker Free Brendan Dassey. And then I did some hearts here and there. And anyway, but that's where I got, I got spray painted on. Um, yeah, so, but I'm tired. I slept in my car last night. Oh, is it? See, I hadn't, I just seen a, a car, I just seen Cadillac Ranch is one. Of, I didn't know that there were many of them, Nance. That's awesome, though. I should, uh look more into that next time my road trip I'll have to see if I can find more because I love doing that kind of stuff but that's one of the reasons why I like driving like people are like why did you drive to Wisconsin why didn't you just fly wouldn't it have been easier to fly and I always say well for me it's cheaper to drive but two you get the experience of the road trip and I like road tripping except for towards the very end I'm very much like I want to get home <laughs> so <laughs> um hi Jen hi Londoner so I'm very looking forward to going home. Um, but yeah, no, that was the news I wanted to share with everybody uh, about uh, the tweet that Laura Nyrider did um, involving Illinois passing the juvenile interrogation protection law. I'm not exactly sure what it's called right now. Um, but as soon as I get home and I actually get more situated and stuff I will look at it and I'll probably like I said I'll probably do a live where I break it down with Linda and and maybe Alice wants to join too um and uh yeah I know sorry <laughs> I know um what's today today's Thursday or today's Friday what is today Thursday so I know tomorrow um, I'm going to be doing a live, my our usual live with Pete and Linda or Positively Brendan. And this Sunday I would like to do um, back to the uh, pre post-trial conviction stuff. So back on schedule, like, you know, try to get back on that horse and do it again. So Thursday. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, I... I'm all road tra travel wearied and I'm like, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, thank you everybody um, for joining me and for stopping by. Hey, Carrie. Oh, Calamari production is going to start following. Spray paint artists, they also have great documentaries on youth prisoners and their journey. Oh, cool. I'll have to look into that. Thank you, Nan's Life. I love documentaries and I love the um, spray painting art is um, one of those uh, art forms that I really enjoy. Like I, I do enjoy like the graffiti thing. I don't always agree with where you graffiti, but um, like I have personal opinions on that. But like I do enjoy that medium. And I think that's really neat that there's somebody still highlighting. Yes, Carrie, I'm still <laughs> driving. <laughs> I got four hours to go. I got four hours to go and then I'm home. And then I'm probably going to disappear for a day and sleep and shower. I have to take care of a puppy that's driving my parents crazy. But yeah, I'm still driving. <laughs> I probably will uh, this weekend if that's okay with you, Carrie. Um, but yeah, nope that that's the little update I wanted to give you guys. And uh, um, yeah, I'm gonna get going now. So 
Um, thank you, Carrie. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate everybody else. So if I don't say it enough, you know, or not, if I don't say it, I don't say it enough. I don't say it enough. I really appreciate everybody and everything that you all do as supporters to Brendan and just as general people who support the cause. Like I do thank you a lot. So thank you. Um, and I will be catching you all later. So bye. But there've been so many people out there who watched making a murderer and were moved, disturbed by Brendan's story and who've reached out to us to ask what they can do to help Brendan. There's something really easy you can do. Maybe this upcoming weekend, you find yourself an extra 10 minutes of time. Think about sending him a letter, right? These letters don't have to be long. They don't have to be powerful, but just tell him, you know, keep your head high. I believe in you, right? We're fighting for you. It'll happen for you. These letters are such a small gesture on the part of every one of us, but they sustain him, right? They give him hope every day. And that gives us the hope we need to keep on fighting. So find his address on the Wisconsin Department of Corrections website. He's in the Oshkosh Correctional Institution. Reach out to him. Let him know he's got friends all over the world who believe in him.